Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jamar back from Vegas Scents and in this video I'm giving you all 13 fragrances in my collection from Middle Eastern houses that I think are really great choices for the upcoming fall season, all right? So definitely stick around for the rest of the video. Also to anyone brand new to my channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also to anyone watching, definitely leave a like and a comment below, all right? So just to get straight into the video, man, like I said, this is going to be 13 fragrances uh, from all sort of, you know, different types of Middle Eastern houses that I have in my collection uh, that I think are really good choices. So the first choice that I'm going to be starting off with here is going to be from the House of Swiss Arabian, and this is going to be Shagaf Oud Azrak. All right. So. This is a really sort of unique take on sort of like a gourmand fragrance mixed with oud and spices. Uh, this is definitely going to be a fragrance that you are going to need to like the, the note of oud, especially within that sort of opening, let's say maybe 30 to 45 minutes, uh, because you do get a heavy dose of oud with this particular fragrance. And this is not like a, a sort of westernized fresh oud or anything like that. This is definitely going to be more along the lines of like that sort of fecal sort of stanky oud. But once that goes away, this pretty much turns into like a really sort of spicy, sweet, gourmand sort of fragrance. This has notes of honey, uh, oud, bourbon, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, leather, and patchouli. And all together, man, I think once you start getting into the dry down for this fragrance, this one becomes amazing. Again, this is Shangaf Oud Azrak by Swiss Arabian. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is going to be one of the best, or if not the best, I would say, uh, clones of YSL's Tuxedo. This is going to be from Fragrance World, and it's Fragrance World's Suits. So there's been... There's been more people talking about this particular fragrance here lately, uh, especially like more of the sort of bigger YouTubers. From what I get from this fragrance is, at least in the opening, this is slightly different. I would say a little bit more synthetic, a little bit more uh, sort of fruitier, uh, you could say, in the opening uh, than you know what Tuxedo is. But again, once this dries down, this is identical to YSL's Tuxedo. Uh, the only main difference is you get a strength boost with this one. This definitely projects a little bit uh, more than what Tuxedo does and for much longer. And the longevity on this overall, it just blows Tuxedo out of the water, at least on my skin. Uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, I'm getting 12 plus hours with this particular fragrance on my skin. So this is a, a really great choice if you're looking for the best sort of YSL tuxedo, you know, uh, scent profile, I, I believe this is going to be your best choice. So again, this is Suits by Fragrance World. Next up is going to be from the House of Paris Corner. In my opinion, this is a really, really nice take on a coffee scent. Uh, this is going to be Paris Corner's Eternal Coffee. So this fragrance, in my opinion, this is to me unisex, but it does lean slightly feminine. Uh, it does sort of have like a lactonic, sugary, creamy sort of aspect, you know, to the fragrance. Uh, this is pretty much like a really sort of creamy, uh, sugary sort of spice latte with like coconut milk added to it or coconut cream. This is really, really nice in my opinion. Uh, the only complaints that I really have about this fragrance is the sprayer on this. It sucks and it's pretty inconsistent. So I, I think, you know, if the sprayer on this were better, um, I really wouldn't have any complaints at all about it. I get pretty average, you know, longevity out of this particular fragrance at least about six to six and a half hours or so. So nothing beast mode, but while this is on my skin you know it definitely it does give a nice sort of moderate projection and you know again this is going to be in my opinion one of the most sort of realistic uh you know creamy sort of latte coffee scents that you can find out there and again this is eternal coffee by paris corner 
Next up is uh, one of the more newer fragrances that I picked up here recently. This is going to be from F.A. Paris Fragrance World. And this is going to be their take on uh, Gris Charnel EDP. This is Francique 63.55. So uh, I just did a video comparing this to the Gris Charnel, the original, uh, as well as uh, the other clone in this line, the Francique 107.99, comparing that with, uh, with Rue Smoking. And pretty much, I mean, this... I think is as close as you can pretty much get to the original. Um, like I said, this was like, I don't know, 97% close or so to the original. Um, this pretty much is just like, it's cardamom, it's fig, it's tea. Um, it has just the right amount of sweetness in this to make it, you know, in my opinion, a really nice unisex sort of choice. Um, but you know, it, it definitely, in my opinion, is also, it's got some good versatility to it as well. Um, I think this is a really good date night choice, but I do also think that this is still a fragrance that you could absolutely rock in the daytime, even, you know, maybe rock this to work. And I think there would be no problem. All right. So this, I think you can wear for the most part all year round. Um, I would say though the vibe that I get from this particular fragrance, it just gives me more so kind of like a fall sort of vibe from it. All right. So that's why this fragrance is on this list. Again, this is going to be Francique 63.55 by F.A. Paris Fragrance World. All right. So the next fragrance up, this is going to be from the house of Latafa. This is from their Badi Al Oud series. I uh, just put up a video of this particular fragrance, um, and this is going to be their newest release. Uh, this is Badi Al Oud Honor and Glory. All right. So, uh, from what I can, you know, kind of see, just smelling this fragrance, looking at the notes, uh, seeing what other people are, you know, sort of describing the way that uh, the original fragrance smells. Uh, I do believe that this is probably going to be a Ani X clone from Nishane. Um, only time will tell. You know, I do have a clone coming, or not a clone. I do have a sample of the original coming in to compare this with. But I mean, pretty much what this smells like is a really sort of uh, juicy uh, pineapple upside down cake infused with like cinnamon spices and vanilla. Um, it doesn't come off as being, you know, like super thick or dense or cloying or anything like that. This is really aromatic. Definitely gives me fall vibes for sure. Um, and this is also very unisex in my opinion as well. All right. So definitely check this one out, man. I'm sure this one will definitely be selling out here pretty shortly. And again, this is Latafa's Badi Al Oud Honor and Glory. All right, so the next one up, this is going to be sticking with the house of Latafa. And this is their take on uh, Dior's uh, Sauvage Elixir. This is going to be Assad by Latafa. All right. So pretty much, man, I think this is a fragrance that I think you can get away with wearing for the most part all year round. However, I do think that just the... The scent DNA of this particular fragrance, at least for me, I tend to reach for this more so kind of like in the, the fall and the winter, um, you know, especially with it having like that sort of licorice note. Um, it has, you know, like a, a really strong presence of vanilla in it. I think this is just best suited for like those fall months. But this is a really sort of, you know, in my opinion, more kind of mature denser take on like that Dior Sauvage scent DNA. You still can pick up on a slight bit of that, you know, Sauvage sort of undertone with this fragrance, but this is, in my opinion, going to be the, the furthest away from what the rest of the Sauvage lineup smells like, uh, which, you know, makes this one, you know, obviously the most unique. So definitely check this one out, man, for the fall time. This is Latafa's Asad. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is gonna be from the House of Paris Corner. This is from their Killer Oud line, and this is Killer Oud Knights of Arabia. And this is gonna be Paris Corner's take on uh, Byredo's Black Saffron. 
And this fragrance, even though, I mean, I think that this is also going to be another one of those sort of all year round type of fragrances. At least for me, the vibe that I get from this fragrance, it, it really gives me sort of like this. It gives me a, a fall sort of vibe. Um, this is really leathery. It does have more sweetness than what the original uh, Black Saffron has. So you do get that with this one, which kind of adds like a, a slight sort of freshness to it. Uh, at least in probably, I would say like the first, let's say maybe 20, 30 seconds or so, uh, you get that added sweetness uh, from like the black currant and the juniper berries. But then once this dries down, this is like a, a really leathery sort of saffron and leather scent. Um, and I don't know, overall, it just has a slight sort of greenness to it um, and, and warmth that I think does make this sort of like a, a really good fall choice in my opinion, all right? So again, definitely check this one out, man. This is gonna be Killer Oud, Knights of Arabia from Paris Corner. Next fragrance up is one that I absolutely cannot wait to start uh, being able to wear. This is also gonna be from the house of Paris Corner and this is their take on why sell baby cat this is rafaka and this fragrance um in my opinion this is going to be a slightly more sort of smokier uh take on baby cat at least in the opening anyway that's the main thing that i get from this this has like a slightly more sort of incensey type of vibe to it uh and then in the the far dry down uh, this definitely has a heavier dose of, you know, like a sweet sort of vanilla that I get from this particular fragrance. All right. But overall, man, I really, really love the way that this one smells. Like I said, this to me is, is a really good choice for, I would say like the fall and the winter months. Uh, but you know, definitely the fall for sure. All right. So, uh, if you're familiar with YSL baby cat, I would say check this one out for sure. This isn't going to be the closest, you know, one to one clone to YSL Baby Cat. This is definitely Baby Cat with more of like a, a twist to it. But in my opinion, uh, this does a really, really good job with, you know, that sort of scent profile. All right. So again, this is Refocket by Paris Corner. All right. So the next fragrance up, this is going to be from the house of Mason Alhambra. And this is their take on Dior's Gris Dior. This is Grease by Mason Alhambra. All right. So I don't know, man, at least for me, when it comes to this particular fragrance, uh, this is a really sort of unique type of fragrance. Um, it comes off as being like really sort of citrusy, fresh, but at the same time kind of metallic. And also sort of like gray, I would say, is, is probably the, the best way for me to really kind of describe. Like if I were to give this particular fragrance a color tone, gray would definitely be what I would kind of designate for this particular fragrance. Which makes sense because the fragrance originally, the original fragrance used to be called Gris Montagne, which means gray mountain in French. So that's definitely that's the vibe that i get from this um i could absolutely see just wearing this one on those really sort of kind of overcast cool rainy type of days um you know that you tend to get you know in the fall months so i absolutely i love this one it does you know again have like a really sort of fresh clean sort of scent profile really kind of cold piercing and metallic but I do like that about this particular fragrance. It does also have like a sort of like a mature sort of edge to it. So this is not going to necessarily be for everybody, but I do really enjoy the way that this one smells. This one is Grease by Mason Alhambra. Next fragrance up, this is going back to the house of Fragrance World. This is their take on uh, Mahogany Woods by Bath and Body Works. And this is Hardwood. All right. So this is just a, a really sort of sweet, ambery, spicy, really masculine sort of fragrance. Um, it, it has like a, a really nice sort of warmth to it. But at the same time, in my opinion, it does have like a, a slightly sort of fresh uh, kind of aromatic feel to it as well. 
I really, really like the way that this one smells. Um, I haven't really reached for this one recently because it's been pretty warm. And in my opinion, this is definitely going to be something that is more so kind of like for those cooler months, like fall, winter, and I would say probably early spring. Uh, but this is a really, really great fragrance. I would say if you're someone who's looking for, uh, you know, mahogany woods, but you don't want to pay the hundreds of dollars that that one is going for, you know, on sites like eBay. Uh, this, from what I understand, is, you know, pretty much a, almost a one-to-one -one clone of that fragrance, and it also has better performance. Uh, I was able to pick this one up on fragrancebuy.ca for, I want to say, around $30, and this is a 100 ml bottle. So, you know, check this one out, man, if you're looking for that scent profile of Mahogany Woods. Definitely check this one out. This is Hardwood by Fragrance World. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is gonna be uh, from F.A. Paris Fragrance World, and this is their take on Initio's Oud for Greatness, and this is Glorious Oud by F.A. Paris Fragrance World, all right? So, as I've stated in previous videos, I believe that this is definitely the the best and closest, you know, Middle Eastern clone to, uh, you know, Initials Ooh for Greatness. You definitely, you get a lot more sort of denseness with this particular fragrance that, you know, is also present in the original. Um, also, just to me, the spices like the nutmeg are just done, you know, a lot better in my opinion than what they're done in the Latafa version, the Ooh for Glory. Uh, this is going to run you a little bit more than what the Oud for Glory will, but I do believe that this is, you know, in my opinion, it's a, a better interpretation of uh, Initio's Oud for Greatness. So uh, definitely check this one out, man. If you haven't smelled this one or gotten your nose on it, check this out. This is Glorious Oud by F.A. Paris Fragrance World. So the next fragrance up, this is going to be from the House of Paris Corner. This is a part of their Perfumery Privé Zara line. And this is going to be Amber Night, all right? So this is their take on Dior's Ombre Nuit. And this is another one of those fragrances that, although I do think that this is going to be a fragrance that you can pretty much wear all year round for the most part, uh, this, I think the best season to wear it anyway, uh, you know, I would say would probably be the fall. Uh, I could definitely see wearing this one in the daytime, you know, in the fall when it's a little bit cooler, you know, maybe a little bit more sort of overcast outside and you just want something that kind of gives you like a pick me up in terms of your mood and just overall well being. I could definitely see this being that type of fragrance for sure, all right? So uh, from what I could tell, at least in the dry down, uh, when comparing this to the sample of the uh, Dior Ombre Nuit that I have, which I do believe is like a, a earlier formulation of Ombre Nuit, like the original formulation of it, uh, at least compared to that formulation, this is definitely more so closer to, I would say, an almost identical to the dry down of uh, Ombre Nuit. Um, in terms of the opening, at least the sample that I have, the sample that I have is a lot more sort of floral and rosier and powdery uh, compared to what this is. This is more so of like a fizzier, sweeter sort of amber smell that I get uh, from this particular fragrance. All right. So I do know that there are like two iterations of Ombre Nuit. One was the original uh, that Dior released and then they reformulated it, I believe back in 2018. And you know, the, I think that this is actually cloning the 2018 version of the fragrance, all right? So if you're familiar with that version of the fragrance, I would say definitely check this one out. Uh, this smells really, really close to you know, at least what I'm picking up on the dry down of the original formulation. Uh, so, you know, again, I can't speak on how the 2018 version of the fragrance smells because I don't believe that my sample that I have of I'm Bring the Wheat is actually, you know, a sample of that particular version. All right. But 
If you want that scent DNA, man, definitely check this one out. This is Amber Night by Perfumery Privé Zara from Paris Corner. And the last fragrance up, this is going to be uh, from Al Haramain. This is from the Amber Oud line. And this is their take on uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason uh, Francis Kirkjohn. And this is Amber Oud Rouge. All right. So this, I mean, at least for me, man, this does what I need it to do, you know, in terms of giving me, you know, that, you know, sort of like burnt sugar uh, or burnt cotton candy, sort of sweet saffron, ambergris type of vibe that you get from, you know, Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, this also, to me, doesn't really become like screechy uh, or like, you know, super, I would say, you know, synthetic smelling the way that I would say the Armoff version, the uh, Club de Nuit Untold, that one, that's the way that one kind of gets, at least in like the dry down of the fragrance. This to me remains smooth all throughout and it does have pretty decent performance as well. Um, I get at least, you know, eight to 10 plus hours when wearing this fragrance. Uh, but this is definitely gonna be a fragrance that, you know, eventually you're gonna go nose blind to it just because of the nature of the note breakdown of the you know particular scent profile all right so if you're looking for a really solid baccarat rouge 540 clone i would say check this one out for sure this is amber oud rouge uh and that's from al haramain all right so let me know what you all think of the list man have you smelled any of these fragrances at all um, and what do you all think? Do you think that these are really nice uh, fall choices? All right. So let me know in the comments. Also, again, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And also, anyone watching, leave a like and a comment below. All right. So once again, man, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. And I'll see you on the next video.